Woodcrafters from across the Midwest are bringing their talents to Bemidji this weekend. And as part of the visit, they're adding one of their creations to Bemidji's outdoor scene. Jackson Bruner explains tonight. The Heim Log Homes crew has been hard at work since about 9 a.m. Thursday. They're building a wooden shelter in Bemidji's Cameron Park. Right now we're scribing uh, log posts into boulders. Which the city says will bring some much needed shade to visitors. People like to gather. They like to hold family reunions. They like to hold birthday parties and picnics. And um, this park has a great beach, a great playground and other amenities. I think the shelter will just add so much to the park for that gathering and social aspect that people enjoy so much. But this building isn't the first of its kind for Heim's crew. In July of 2012, severe storms brought down a number of trees in Bemidji's Diamond Point Park, prompting the Heim crew to get involved. Working with the city, uh, we kind of had agreement if I help clean up and remove the logs, I got to keep them. With that wood, they built a park shelter in Nymore. At Cameron, they're using different trees, but have some added help as fellow members of the Great Lakes Log Crafters Association are in town for their annual meeting and have volunteered time to teach. It's an association that shares knowledge, educates uh, individuals on, on log building processes, uh, log connections, uh, log homes, log pavilions. Whenever you're working with somebody else, you pick up little tricks and hints and ideas to what ways to improve your own building. By three in the afternoon, the side panels were nearly finished. By the end of the day, Heim says they'll have everything done but the roof. This is a beautiful park down here in need of some shade and this is kind of going to give you that place to go for some peace and quiet and really get connected with nature. Really getting something that has real logs and wood um, just really fits so nice in with how this park is designed. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. Officials say the shelter should be ready for the public to use by the end of next week. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.